Today I'm gonna to be unboxing and setting up the iPhone SE. Now the iPhone SE is the replacement to the iPhone 5C. It's also currently the least expensive iPhone on the market. It has all the features of the iPhone 6S, yet it's much more compact. In fact, it's almost exactly the same dimensions as the older iPhone 5S. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. And to get it out of the box, we're going to slice open the plastic cover using a knife and then peel the cover off. So let's open the box up, pull off the top cover and there's the device itself. Now I'm gonna put the device aside for now. We'll set it up in a minute and I'm gonna take the top shelf off the box and as expected, the first thing you find inside is the quick guide, the other warranty information, and two Apple stickers. Next, you have the AC power adapter. You have your standard USB to lightning cable. And last but not least, you have your Apple earbuds. So let's take a quick look at the device itself. It looks almost identical to the iPhone 5S. And if you hadn't already noticed, this is the gold version. It's also available in rose gold space gray and silver. So let's go ahead and start setting the device up. In order to do that, let's peel off the plastic cover on the front. Let's also peel off the plastic cover on the back. So now it's time to power the phone on. So press down on the power button, which is still on top, like the iPhone 5S. And there you go, it's booting up. Okay, so now you see the welcome screen and I'm gonna slide to start setting it up. I'm gonna select my language first. Okay, and then select my region or country. In this case, I'm gonna select the United States and then connect to a Wi-Fi network and to select my network and then enter the password. Okay, so it's now connected to my Wi-Fi network and then it asks me if I'd like to enable location services. I'm gonna say enable location services. And then it asks me if I'd like to set up Touch ID. Now Touch ID, if you're not aware of what Touch ID is, is the fingerprint sensor on the front, which is a very secure feature. Now I'm not gonna set it up today, but in case you're setting up your own phone, I definitely recommend doing this. I'm just gonna touch set Touch ID later and then hit continue. And then it asks you to set up a passcode, which is absolutely required. And I'm gonna set that up. Okay, so I've set up my passcode, which is a six digit passcode. Next, it asks you whether you'd like to back up from either iCloud, iTunes, or set up as a new phone or move data from Android. Very useful features. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna set it up as a new iPhone. However, if you're coming from another iPhone or from Android, it's a really useful feature. But for now, I'm just gonna say set up as a new phone and then it asks you to log in with your Apple ID and password. Now you'll absolutely need an Apple ID and password to set any Apple device up. Now if you don't have an Apple ID that's perfectly fine you can always set one up it's a free and very simple process but I'm gonna enter my Apple ID and password and then hit next. Now, I've logged in with my Apple ID and it asks me if I'd like to upgrade to iCloud Drive. Now this is useful if you want to back up stuff or or if you wanna store stuff in the cloud. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna say turn off iCloud Drive and hit continue. Okay, then it says it's updating iCloud settings. And since this phone has Apple Pay built in, it asks me whether I'd like to set up Apple Pay. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna hit set up later in wallet. And on the next window, it asks me if I'd like to set up iCloud Keychain. Now this is a very sophisticated and pretty useful feature once you learn how to use it. I'm not gonna get into this right now. I'm just gonna hit don't use iCloud keychain. And on the next window, it asks me if I'd like to set up Siri. Now this optimizes Siri for your accent and your voice and the way you say words. So I definitely recommend doing this if you're setting your phone up. For now though, I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna say turn on Siri later. And next it asks me if I'd like to send diagnostic information to Apple. Now if you're not comfortable doing this, just hit don't send. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then it's says welcome to iPhone and hit get started and there you go the phone is set up and ready to use now unlike all the other devices that I unbox I won't be doing a full review of this device I won't be doing a full review of this device just because I feel there are already really good reviews out there if you found this video helpful please give us a big thumbs up and if you're looking to buy this device I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to see more reviews how-to videos and unboxings please subscribe to stay tuned thanks for watching and see you next time